Nice, nice, nice. Should be a little better on the volume there. I was gonna say, to be honest, can't hear the audio of this game, but I'd imagine they're explaining the rules. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we're capturing the audio. <laughs> Isn't that nice? We could be talking over something that we don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever, we'll read the questions ourselves. Uh, correct answers to questions score you points, and points are in wedges. Wedge. Wedge. Wedge it. Each player competes to win wedges over the course of the game show. Mm -hmm. The cheese. You can tell by the wedges. You can tell by the players on the screen. And because this is Trevor Pursuit, the first player to collect all six wedges wins the, wins the game. Wedge. If I remember correctly, you don't need to get one of each color. You just need to get six wedges. Yeah. Yep. The okay. color just correlates to what category you got it on. If you were playing the original board oh. game, you need one of each color. Yeah. That's like the hard way to play it because, you know, nobody's good at all six categories. What? Uh, we just picked the right answer. It's going to give us a bunch of choices, and we just click the right one. Entertainment. I'll read the questions. Let's see. Who starred in Run, Fat Boy, Run, and <sighs> Shaun of the Dead, and appeared as an IMF technician in Mission Impossible 3? <laughs> I know I clicked the wrong <clears throat> one, but that's fine. Uh, uh, what's the questions? Or, like, what's the, the names? Simon Pegg, Stephen Merchant, Ricky Gervais, and Eric Idle. Simon Pegg. It was Simon Pegg, yeah. I don't know who any of those are except for Ricky Gervais. <laughs> you don't know who Simon Pegg is? I probably know who he is, but I don't you know. You probably do. Go home and watch it. Uh, so, in, have you seen Paul? Long time ago. And I don't remember anybody's faces that were in Kate, it. Have you seen Shaun of the Dead? No. Nope. What kind of creature is Wellington in the books by Elizabeth Beresford? Mm. Womble worm. <laughs> Set it Wire? to W for Womble. Werecat or Warg. <laughs> what? I have no idea. Wobble, where where what kind of creature is Wellington in the books by Elizabeth Beresford? Isn't that like beef? Womble, where warg. warg. No, it's a womble. It's a womble. Got it right. Most of the wombles chose their names from an atlas. What the fuck is a womble? <laughs> number womble. They womble large. around the forest. Can I get a womble? A number womble large. The extra dip. History. History. Which city narrowly lost out to the London in the Olympic 2012 bid? Oh, I think I know this. Paris, city, Paris, Sydney, Brussels, or Rome? I'm gonna go with that. No, I'm wrong. Damn. Damn, it is Paris. I'm right. I said Sydney. Same. Gross. <laughs> yeah, Petra is just uh, alliterating us. Slang. <laughs> She's getting everything right. Three correct answers right, wow. Are we going to lose the, the UI? Because I don't like... Which Australian cricketer famously had a test average of 99.94? Yeah? Famously? <laughs> An Australian cricketer? Oh, the game. Are these real people or just names that Madden comes up with? Donald Bradman. That sounds right. That's what I picked. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. I really didn't. Yeah, hey, it was Donald Bradman. It was Donald Bradman. That's what I'm talking about. Ricky Good Ponting. Stuff. Donnie B. I got a wedge. Nicely done. Yeah, you're all getting whipped. Brandon in fourth. David far behind him. Bitch. I'm not in fourth. Me. I'm in second. Oh, I flipped you two around. <laughs> Sorry, I need names on the screen for me. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, shit. Who wants to know what the viewers are doing? It's all about me. What's next? Round two. All right, who's going to pick, or is it just... just no? Mm -mm. Close call. Close call. That call was close. Take turns picking the best possible answer. Oh, I oh this. this one. Yeah, yeah we only... Uh, we you go, can only pick one. Yeah, we go one at a time, and I think it's the person in last picks first. <clears throat> yep. So one of the answers is most correct. The other answer is least correct. So it's going to be like pick the oldest movie in the list or something like that. Yeah. Yep. I pressed A. Yep. Yep, and then that's, that's the move. It's and then telling you how to use a controller. <laughs> yep. In case you don't know. Yeah, we know how to use it, game. All right. Select category. category. Sports or art? Sports. Ah, sports and leisure. Oh. Whatever leisure means. Which athlete has won the most Olympic medals in their career? Uh, who's up first? David, you're up first. Oh, what? Yep, yeah. So you pick one. As of 2004. Damn it. I was going to pick Michael Phelps. Mm -hmm. um. If you pick my answer, <laughs> I'm going to be very upset. 
No, Petra, no. She's going to pick my answer. <laughs> she tried to pick Michael. Yeah. Mine was Ian Thorpe. <laughs> I only knew that because I knew Ian Thorpe was a swimmer. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, shit happens. Yeah, I see how she picked the next highest answer? Yep. Because she knows everything? She went to Michael Phelps and mm -hmm. was like, oh, that one. Which of these players has the NHL highest record for most career goals? This is a layup. Oh. David, you're first. Cool. Okay. Are you serious? Uh, no. What? What do you mean? Damn it. It's, it's Why Gretzky. did you get to go second yeah, that it's, time? It's Gretzky by a mile. And then I, I don't, don't know. even know who Gretzky is. What? He's one of the Gretz. Great ski. He's the best NHL player of all time. Let's see who chose best. Why did David get to go first, but then I got third? What? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> that makes me mad. It's okay. You'll get back up there soon. <laughs> You're gonna go first again. <laughs> oh, that's why. Hey. Did you know, have you never heard of Wayne Gretzky? As of no. the 2013-14 season, which team has won the most UEFA Champions League games? Yeah. <laughs> Soccer, awesome. Real Madrid, I don't know. Liverpool. It's the s Ajax. <laughs> AFC Ajax. Is that the Jaguars? Oh, that's a rip. It was uh, Milan, huh? Madrid. Oh, Madrid. I should have picked Milan. Yeah, you got it. Madrid is very good. I just hear that thrown around a lot. Yes, that is true. At least nobody picked the worst answer. Yeah. I don't think we have for a couple rounds now. Good. We're, su we're super smart. We're better than that. Which of the following professional boxer boxers have scored the most knockouts? She went straight to Mike Tyson just to point out the top answer. That's so cool. It is yeah. Sugar Ray. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't. <laughs> Fuck Muhammad Ali. Yep. Thomas Hearns had more than Mike Tyson. Wow. Wow. I don't even know who Hearns is. I've never heard of them. <laughs> You're so smart. <laughs> Geography. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You know, you know how to get it, Brennan. All right. As of 2010, which of the continents has the largest population? Ha! Let's see. Who goes so first? Yeah. It would be... Probably North America, right? What does Oceania mean? It means Oceania. I hope that doesn't mean Asia, because that's totally going to be the right answer. I'm going with Oceania. Um... I'll pick your It's going to be a real rip if it's the islands. <laughs> it's it's either like 20,000 people. It could be. Uh, Let's bounce between Europe and Africa. Did I make the right decision? Nope. Mm -mm. Dude. Africa. Look How at me. Oceania oh, with 35 million. I think that one was intentionally huh. there to mislead you into thinking Asia. Yep. I hate this game. Because <laughs> they knew Asia was going to be the top answer. I'm just gullible. Mm -hmm. Wow, she got every single answer correct. That's crazy. Wow. On medium difficulty, like what? she's only missing one question per block. Wow. Wow, I'm in last place now. Wow. We're losing to the AI. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Remind me to put the AI on easy next time. Wow. It's okay. She only has one more wedge in last place. I only have one wedge. You're almost at two. Go get down on yourself. You can have many wedges in the future if you believe. <laughs> you can have many piece of pie. Sir, would you like piece of pie? Switch categories. Switch categories. Oh, that, that is what it says. Oh, is this the one where it puts them all in a grid on the screen? I like that. Oh, no. Answer correctly to score points. Yeah, <coughs> if you answer correctly in the category that you should pick, you score bonus points. Oh, okay. So basically what we did with bonus points. Yeah, but you get more points for when you pick it. Got Can it. I pick a category? Thank you. Yeah, you get to pick that. My turn. Science and nature. <laughs> I hope it's a question about a frog. <laughs> out of the 150,000 strands of hair on our heads, about how many fall out per day? Hmm. Oh, wow. I counted. There are that many. 
<laughs> Damn. Only 50? Bullshit. I pulled out at least 1,000 on my own. Look, Petra got it right again. I said 500 because, you know. <laughs> yeah, no shit game. Thank you. Me and my captains. Really. I was so mad. <laughs> Fuck. I'm angry. History or geography? History. 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 How many of King Henry VIII's wives were called Anne? <laughs> what? Yeah, that's the question. <laughs> you read it. Uh, clearly, it's three. Damn it. I hate Petra so much. Lucky David's keeping toe-to-toe -to -toe with her, yeah. <laughs> Anne Boyen and Anna Clev. I butchered those names on purpose. It's time to change category. Geography. Geography. We're going back. Geography. Found in Africa, south of the Sahara. What type of bird is pictured here? Oh, I know that. Cockatoo. I don't know that. Hmm. <laughs> You're like, oh, by the answers, I'll definitely get it. Yeah, it's got to be the that one. I was wrong. That's an Ebus. Damn it. Crested no, crane. I was right. David's on a roll right now. David, I think you're about to overtake first. You you were tied for first. Wow. Wow. The AI is starting to get wrong answers. Petra with the category. So she's just going to body us with the arts and literature right here. <laughs> <laughs> what Saint's Day is said to have seen the birth and death of William Shakespeare? Um... This Saint is a, why Patty's day is definitely not a St. Andrews. I don't know what that is. St. <laughs> George. Hey, I was right. All right. Then Everyone was but me. And now she's and leaving. She gets 1,800 yeah, points. She got because the she bonus. Got, oh, bitch. Wow. Bitch. <laughs> bitch. All right. Uh, we're going to do science and nature again. I feel good about this. I hope it's about a frog. I hope it is too. <laughs> Which Swedish scientist invented dynamite and established an annual prize in his name for cultural and scientific advances? Well, it's either... It's... Yeah? Oh, my... <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, that was, was a, that I, was I, a I knew it was either question. that one or Nobel, because yeah. it was definitely not the other two. I did not know Nobel invented. I'm sad. <laughs> Me too. I haven't gotten a single correct answer yet, so. Uh, what is the favorite food of Nick Park's animated duo, Wallace and Gromit? Oh. Oh, that's easy. I know that one. I, huh? you're a, I don't want to say it yet. Yeah, cheesy bugger. Fuck. The moon's made of cheese. <laughs> I don't know what that is. You never seen any of the Wallace and Gromit movies? Uh-uh. Oh, man. They're like these old claymation movies. Curse of the Were Gromit is the classic. Thanks for the update. Chicken Run, same studio. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Have you ever seen Chicken Run? Yeah. Yeah, same people made it. Okay. Can't go geography twice. <laughs> I went science and nature twice, so well that worked out. What is the surname of John Ronald Worrell who wrote The Hobbit? How did she get that wrong? <laughs> oh my god. I didn't even know that was the right answer. It just sounded Tolkien? familiar. J.R.R. Tolkien? Just sounded familiar. <laughs> Way to earn those bonus points. Way to go. Final question. <laughs> Petra. So she's about to body us again with history. I can feel it coming. What is the traditional dish served at Wimbledon? <laughs> Mary's what the a fuck's cream. a Wimbledon? A I'm sorry, what? What? It is berries and cream. <laughs> Excuse me, what? What the fuck is Wimbledon? <laughs> Tennis. Batteries and cream. Batteries and cream. I'm still in last place. 
Uh, oh, David's in second now. He's got a commanding lead in second. Well, it's not a commanding and lead. Her. We don't count second. her. She's worthless. All right, grab bad blitz. This is the one. Uh, they lay out a bunch of options on this screen. Most of them are right. A lot of them are wrong, and you have to pick out the right ones. Yep. Huh. I'm going to lose. And it's like the last one where we like picked an order, but this time you have to rush to Everybody pick goes your at answer. Everybody the same time. Fortunately, these are a history. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to ask us another cricket question. <laughs> Which of these countries contributed to the ah. building of the International Space Station? Bullshit. Fuck Australia. And if you get a wrong answer, um, whatchamacallit, you get thrown out. Oh, fuck. Yep. So you're not Wait, no, to you pick don't. anymore. I can still pick. Okay, cool. Why do I suck? Well, come on. There we go. <laughs> Japan was the only one left. Okay. Which of these gods are Egyptian deities? Oh, goodness gracious. Seriously. Fuck you. Really? Yep. Ni uh, Isis. Nisus. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Petra. <laughs> Fuck you indeed, Bitch. Petra. Ta. Ta and Neptis. Oh, oh, Horus was in the top right. Yeah. Well, it's nice that three of us are tied. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Brandon. Which of these things spread via the Silk Road trade route? Silk? <laughs> Fire. Islam. <laughs> the <laughs> automobile. <laughs> Islam. I don't know why I picked fire. <laughs> <laughs> Petra got two of them wrong. She picked rice wrong twice. The fire. Printing press. They traded the fire. Oh, no. oh, it's hot. <laughs> hot, 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 hot. Which of these countries are members of the G20 economic group? Why didn't I pick the United States? That's a great question. <laughs> Picked fucking Venezuela. Oh, I got my first one wrong. Petra, Nicely done, page. though. Nicely Barndor done. with the three slices. Yeah, and Good I'm only 6,000 points behind. <laughs> You're okay. It's not the end. It's okay. You get to pick the category again. Sports. Pick sports. Brandon, pick sports. Die, oh, you're supposed to pick sports. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Which of these islands are in the Caribbean Sea? Really? That's dummy. Bora Bora. All right. <laughs> the Barbados. Damn it. Both of you put into Cuba. Damn it. Jamaica. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know my islands, dude. I really thought the Galapagos were in the Caribbean Sea. <laughs> Good or no, not, they're off uh, the coast of Africa. Oh. Well, aren't you special, David? Two two wedges? Answer a series, Answer a series of rapid-fire questions. Yeah, this is going to be this or that. <clears throat> yeah, okay. one or the other. Oh, and this one, when you lose it, when you miss one, you're out. Yep. Each category is worth a wedge. So basically, it relies on you getting a bunch correct and everybody else getting them wrong. Yep. This is a great game because you can play it with one hand. Yeah. <laughs> sports! I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Has two teams. You're up in the USA. What? Which one has two teams? I guess so. I didn't pick. What? I pushed. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I would have got it wrong anyway. I crossed X as well, Barndor. I pushed X right when the timer ended. That's 122. Uh, okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Wow, that's Wait, really quick. Wait, yeah, the quick. other one just said two teams. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm the winner. Good I get the wedge. Cyrus. I'm coming. I'm coming fast. From the page to the stage, <laughs> arts and literature. All right, served eight years of Siberian exile, followed by a term of compulsory military service. <laughs> Dostoyevsky. Sorry. Nice. Dostoyevsky. Petra's a bitch. Fuck you, Petra. Wrote the 1877 novel Anna Karenina. Karenina. I don't know. Ah, yeah. Oh. Okay. Wrote the 1869 novel War and Peace. Don't 
I picked him because it, I figured he was <laughs> the Same author dude. of them. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I picked the other guy just to see if it, it was any different. Experiences first, epileptic seizure at age nine. Yeah, everybody knows this. Somebody's going to win. <laughs> yeah. Brandon, yeah. Wow. Brandon gets the wedge. I was just predicting. Mm-hmm. Where yeah. go. <laughs> More so when the actual question was. Good strategy. We all have four wedges. I did it. I caught up. There you go. Bit. Well, if you get another wedge here, you'll take the lead. All right. Saw the world's first flowering plants grow. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, we're going to lose half Not of Triassic. <laughs> Fuck. Triassic was a long time the after Cretaceous? that. Cretaceous was when life came out of the ocean. Mm-hmm. Oh. Happened earlier and had no po- polarized caps. Well, I guess I just gave that away. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, I tricked ourselves. <laughs> Brandon, you threw me off. Okay. <laughs> was host to only one giant continent knows is Pangea. This bitch don't know about Pangea. This bitch don't know about Pangea. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> we don't know about Pangea. <laughs> Bro, I pressed X. You're out. Yeah, Once you're you get out. one wrong, you're out. Me and Brandon are t- uh, doing We just it keep getting it wrong. Was in the period in which dinosaurs first evolved? <laughs> yep. I understand that. So, me and Brandon, we both we were the only ones to get the first one, so we're just trying to out-duel each other. Saw gotcha. the rise of the Tyrannosaurus, Triceratops, and Velociraptor. Wow. We suck. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Did we both get a wedge? Oh, sh- Oh, damn. Shit. Because you guys survived? Yeah. Yep. You both bet were the same amount of wrong. Hmm. Study the stars. Damn, Petra dumb. Petra, you're a bitch. You're dumb as hell. This bitch don't know Stupid about the Aztecs. <laughs> this bitch don't know about the mines. Spoke no waddle. Uh. <coughs> oh, it's a coin sure. toss. No waddle. Nice. We were all going to live or die on that question anyway, so it didn't matter. <laughs> all right. Have a calendar that ends in 2012. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was instant. <laughs> it's very, very irrelevant. Worship Quetzalcoatl. God damn. <laughs> why do we know so much <laughs> about this? The Aztecs and the Mayans. It's easy, bro. Structure of their empire with city states. Oh, shit. It was Uh-oh. a switch. Oh, damn. Oh. Wow. Okay. Wow. So, a three way tie for first right now. That's insane. I did not expect to win that, boys. Me Good round. I thought it was Good the round. <laughs> Entertainment. As long as Petra doesn't win, I don't care what happens. Ooh, oh, God. Fame on the TV series Taxi. Mm-hmm. I was about to say, it yeah. doesn't sound like Schwarzenegger. Yeah, it's definitely Danny DeVito. Directed the film Death Smoochie. Ooh. I just fucking got myself out. No? Mm-hmm. That didn't sound like a Schwarzenegger <laughs> film. <laughs> <laughs> I would have heard about it. Acted in the film The Expendables. Yeah. Uh, Danny I DeVito with the A12. Oh, Petra, what are you doing? <laughs> Somebody's guaranteed to win right here. <laughs> wow. Lends his name to a brand of protein powder. Gee, I wonder. It's Danny DeVito just to mess with us. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, get the Arnie powder now. Voice the Grundle King in 1986 is My Little Pony the movie. Oh, yeah, I wonder who it is. I think David will win because he has more points. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even though we all get wedge. Won your first game show. Yeah. Yep, you got it. Spoiled it. Thanks, achievement. Yeah, this the achievements <laughs> spoiled the game. <laughs> it's all right, David. Got it. Yeah. Well, congratulations to David for being the trivia master. Until next time, uh, when I take the crown. Yeah. Well, that was I fun. look forward to it. I'm that was a fun game. That was, look at how long it took. Literally 30 minutes. Right. That was perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> well, thank you all for joining in, and we'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching our uh, Let's Play. I look didn't miss a single entertainment question, dude. <laughs> Good stuff. Damn. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Oh, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. That was in. good, though. Yeah, right, thanks, thanks for, for tuning in. in. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh. Mm-hmm. Jason Rulo. This is my review of Forza Horizon 5. 
I like the way that the cars can drive and go really fast down the street. Massage my feet. This is a feat. Getting on this feet. Getting a feat from Mr. Feet. Yeah.